Hey guys, I am Vikash and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I am going to show you how to create neon text animation inside of Davenger Resolve 16. So let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so click on this new project and let's call it neon and click on create and let's do some basic settings so click on the setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 and set this timeline frame rate 30 frame per second and select this playback frame rate 30 frame per second and click on save now i'm going to create neon text animation inside of this fusion tab so we have to take a new fusion composition so right click on this media pool click on this new fusion composition and let's call it fusion comp and set the duration of this composition 5 second long and set this frame rate 30 and click on create and drag this fusion comp on this timeline like that and then go to your fusion tab and here we get media out so just drag this over here and click on this single viewer and now let's import a background image so click on this media pool and right click on that go to import media and select a wall texture image that i have downloaded from pixabay.com and link given in the description so go to the link and download this wall texture image and click on open and drag this wall texture image on this flow window and close this media pool and drag this image on this viewer and now let's call it background so hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to bg and hit ok and as you can see it has a different image size proportion so let's fit this image so select this hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for resize node so this is a resize node hit add button and drag this resize to the viewer and as you can see it's perfect and let's uh, scale it up so select this and click on this transform button to add a transform node drag this transform to the viewer and go to this inspector window and let's increase the size of this so set this size maybe maybe 1.85 okay and now select this transform and add a color corrector node so hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for cc so this is our color corrector node or you can also click on this cc button to add a color corrector node and drag this color corrector to the viewer and go to this inspector window and let's down this gain value so set this gain value maybe 0.15 hit enter so it's looking something like that now let's turn on the grid snapping so right click on this go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap all right now we have to take a text node so click on this text button to add a text node and drag this text to the viewer and type a text whatever you want to type so i'm typing love and let's increase the size of this so set the size maybe 0.3 hit enter and choose your favorite font style so in this case i'm using bauhaus 93 font style and then go to your setting tab and click on this text outline and set the thickness of this outline maybe 0.0085 hit enter and hit control and scroll up to zoom in so it's looking something like that now drag this text over here and take a merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow background point with the output of this color corrector node and green foreground point with the output of this text node and drag this merge one to the viewer and click on fit all right and now let's down this opacity so select this merge and go to this inspector window and let's down this blend value so set this blend or opacity maybe 0.15 hit enter so it's looking something like that 
and now we have to take a glow node so hit control plus a spacebar for search box and search for glow so this is our glow node hit add button and now let's connect the output of this text with this glow like that and drag this glow to this viewer and let's merge these both outputs so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with the output of this merge one and green foreground point with the output of this glow and drag this merge two to this viewer and select this glow and let's set this value glow size so set this glow size maybe 20 hit enter and set this glow value 0.85 hit enter so as you can see it's looking something like that now let's add a another color corrector node so select this merge two and click on this color corrector and drag this color corrector to the viewer and let's select a nice color so pick any color that you want all right and click on fit so as you can see it's looking something like that and now let's create a spark or fluctuation kind of animation so select this merge and let's animate this blend but i also want to animate this saturation value but i don't want to animate separately so click on this pin button and let's pin this and select this merge and now let's attach this saturation with this blend so right click on saturation click on expression and let's parent this saturation with this blend so pick this speaker point and let's attach this with blend like that okay and then unpin this color corrector and select this merge and now let's animate this blend so go to around five or six frame and turn off this light and click on this diamond button to add a keyframe and go to next frame and turn on the light go to next frame turn off the light go to next frame turn on the light go to next frame turn off the light and go to four or five frame forward in time and click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to next frame turn on the light go to next frame turn off the light go to next frame and turn on the light okay and go to around 10 frame forward in time and click on this diamond button to create a keyframe go to next frame and turn off this light next frame turn on next frame turn off go to three or four frame forward in time click on this diamond button go to next frame turn on the light and go to 10 or 15 frame forward in time click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to next frame turn off the light go to next frame turn off the light and go to next frame turn off this light and go to two three frame forward in time click on this diamond button to create a keyframe go to next frame and turn on the light all right so as you can see it's looking something like that now let's create a vintage so take a background node let's call it black so hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it black hit ok and let's merge it so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this color corrector and green foreground point with this black and drag this merge 3 to this viewer okay and select this black and add a ellipse mask with this so just select this and click on this ellipse mask and create an ellipse like that and click on this invert and set this soft edge maybe 0.2 and set this border width maybe 0.25 hit into all right so it's looking something like that now select this merge and take a final transform node so just select this merge 3 click on this transform button and let's create a scale animation so 
Select this transform to go to the end of this animation and right click on size, click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to add a keyframe on size and click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on angle also and then go to very beginning of this animation and let's increase the size of this. So set the size maybe 1.3, hit enter and set this angle 10 degree and hit enter. Okay, so as you can see, it's looking something like that. All right, finally, let's connect this media out with this transform. So just connect this like that and then go to your edit tab. And now let's create an aspect ratio for cinematic look. So go to timeline, output blanking, click on this 2.4. And as you can see, our text animation is ready for render. All right. Or you can also change any text or color that you want. So go to your fusion tab or select this text and type anything that you want. So I'm tapping forever. Okay, and select this color character too and pick any color like that. Okay, and let's align this text in center. All right, and then go to your edit tab and now you can render it out. All right, so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when I will upload my new video and I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye bye.